Hi friends, in this video we are going to check how we can add Google AdSense on our WordPress website. As you can see this is one of our WordPress website and Google AdSense is running on our website and you will get a good earning from this AdSense because Google AdSense is 100% genuine and authentic. So when a visitor come to your website and if they click on an ad and if they use that ad for their purpose and you will get a good earning from the google adsense so you can see lot of ads are running on our website come to our dashboard and where adsense dashboard you can see all your earnings data here but before getting the adsense approval you need to check your website for some criteria all these things are okay then only you need to approve uh, apply for the adsense content quality your website should have high quality original content that provides value to users ensure that your content is well written clear and free of grammatical errors website structure your website should have a clear and easy to navigate structure ensure that all pages on your site are accessible and have a user-friendly layout domain age while there's no specific age requirement having a domain that has been active for some time can be beneficial some sources suggest that a domain should be at least six months old. Content type. AdSense generally does not approve sites with content related to illegal activities, adult content, copyrighted material without permission, or content that promotes violence or hate speech. Privacy policy. Your website must have a privacy policy page that discloses how user information is collected, used, and managed. This is a legal requirement and a crucial part of the AdSense approval process. Terms of Service Include a Terms of Service page on your website. Sufficient Content Ensure that your website has enough content before applying. While there is no fixed word count, a website with only a few pages may be rejected. Responsive Design Make sure your website is mobile-friendly and has a responsive design. No under construction pages. Avoid having pages on your site that are still under construction. Ad placement. If you're already displaying ads from other networks, review their placement to ensure they comply with AdSense policies. Unique and valuable user experience. Your website should offer a unique and valuable experience to users. Avoid creating sites that exist solely for the purpose of displaying ads. Okay guys, once all these criteria are ready and okay for you, then you apply for the AdSense. So when you come to your website, uh, please check all the required pages are there like Times of Service, Privacy Policy page and a logo, a logo image. Everything is ready. Then you can go to the adsense.google.com and you can sign in or you can get started uh, with your google account make sure you need to create only one account at a time so once you have done that go to the plugin section of your wordpress dashboard and click on add new plugin and you can search for a adsense plugin which is available free on the wordpress dashboard and you can install this first plugin advanced ads and this is totally free plugin so you can install and activate this plugin and you can see the plugin settings is here so click on the plugin settings and you can see a dashboard of the plugin here click on the settings area and you can see all the plugin settings here you can just use this after getting in the adsense approval so for just now you can just leave this and click on the adsense tab and you can connect to the adsense and you can uh, enable the adsense on your website so just apply for the adsense click on connect to the adsense button you can enable the auto ads all these things here so now just click on connect to the adsense and you can log in with your google adsense account which you created now once you uh, just log in with the adsense account you can see your adsense account on the dashboard also now just click on the new sites area on the adsense uh, tab and you can add your website on the adsense dashboard now you can just verify it 
click on i have placed the code uh, or you can see the ad text snippet and all these things here just click on i have published the ads.txt file and now you click on verify now your site is verified and click on next and click on request review section once your request is approved by the Google, then you can start showing ads on your WordPress website. Once the review is accepted by the Google AdSense, you can see a page like this. Okay guys, thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel.